Hey guys, how's it going? It's Trax here, back on Genshin Impact video. Look, so in today's video, we kind of do something a little bit different on the channel. I've always been wanting to do the story quest on video with you guys. I thought that'd be a fun idea to do. And yeah, now I kind of thought it was the perfect time because they recently just released the new story quest, as well as Yelan's story quest. So I'm like, so I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot and see if you guys like it. So if you guys want to see more of these videos, it was kind of like a let's play where I'm kind of playing the story with you guys and kind of showing you guys my first reactions to the story, then definitely let me know. But if you guys don't want to see this, then I probably might not do this ever again. So definitely let me know via the comment section or the like button, stuff like that. Because if you guys want to see this, then I'll definitely do more of it. Not only that, but recently I've been playing Final Fantasy IV and I've been doing kind of like a let's play on that so yeah I really enjoyed that series so I kind of thought that maybe it'd be fun to do it with Genshin Impact so yeah usually I play the story quest by myself off camera and I kind of do like summoning videos and discussion videos but it's always nice to try something new so I'm really excited to do this video so how I usually do my let's plays is if the story is voice I won't be talking when the characters are talking and once they finish talking then I'll you know commentate and give my thoughts on what they said or make a comment and stuff like that. In this video, I'm gonna do the entirety of the story quest. No, you ain't. And I'm gonna record a separate video for Yelan's story quest. But I'm really excited to play both the story quest and Yelan's story quest because what I like to do is I usually like to play the story quest stuff first and see what the new characters are like before I poll for them. So yeah, right now I know nothing about Yelan, so that's why I don't really want to poll for her because I only have so many primos in this game, so... Yeah, I only want to pull the characters I really, really like. I tested out Yelan, and I really like her gameplay, and her design looks really cool. So they all need to know what her personality is like. But if I like her, I'm definitely going to be pulling for her. But right now, my room is like 90 degrees. I am dying right now. <laughs> like, a part of me was like, I, maybe I shouldn't record this video right now, because it's really hot in my room. And the fan in the background not really cooling me off, so... Yeah, there might be some cuts in this video where I just like literally walk out of the room and <laughs> kind of just like, cool myself off because it's so hot in here. Like, oh my goodness, man. Like, the things I do for you guys. I might not make it out of this video alive. <laughs> oh my goodness. But anyway, let's get right into it. So, I see Yan Fei in the background. So, I think the story quest could have Yan Fei in it as well as Yelan. So, really excited to see what it could be like. So, let's go. I have little Endoro with me because, because like I said before, my room is really hot. So, I kind of wanted to have like a water thing with me. They're trying to kind of cool me off, so <laughs> yeah, if anyone's getting into it. Alright, let's see. Oh, Traveler and Paimon? I didn't expect to see you two here. It's kind of weird to see Yanfei in the middle of the chasm by herself. Like, who in the world wants to come visit here, you know, on their own time? Yanfei? Shouldn't you be at work in Lile Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Oh yeah, I remember that Yelan, she appeared at the end of the... One of the story quests for the chasm. Not really a story quest, but it's like the side stuff. And I kind of wish that she had some sort of voice line. It's kind of weird seeing her come in, shoot an arrow and leave and not say anything. I kind of wish that she got some kind of voice line. And maybe a little bit of dialogue, that way we can get a sneak peek of what she's like. But fortunately didn't do it. Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor please? If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. Alright, gotcha. Huh? What are you talking about? Let's see. Doing something illegal, did you? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. Uh, look, it's quite a long story. So if you could, please just cover for me. I'll see you later. Don't worry, Yanfei. I gotcha. I gotcha. Got Everybody, she's over here. Get her. <laughs> oh. Hey. something illegal and now she's gone into hiding here <gasps> or maybe something super scary happened i think so i, I think yan fei's avoiding her taxes can you imagine that like yan fei avoiding her taxes oh my goodness man like <laughs> a lawyer doing something illegal like that would be kind of ironic actually i think it'd be kind of cool if i read the the voice line of the traveler so i'm gonna do that i forgot about the voice line for the traveler so yeah but anyways doubt it yan fei the legal advisor after all complicated these days you know we should be prepared for the worst if something really did happen we might find ourselves becoming our accomplices oh what a dilemma should we really cover for her paimon you're the one that's both naive and complicated i kind of wish that the travel wasn't so mean to paimon like for me is that Edo in the background what the heck i, I see him right there but yeah i kind of wish the travel was a little bit more nicer like he was nicer are you guys playing lumine like she was nicer to paimon in the beginning of the story and now they kind of got a little more sassy for me if i was the traveler i wouldn't really be all sassy to paimon because i really like paimon a lot but 
Oh, look, there's the, what the, what's it called? The new girl. Oh, hey, Shinobu. Like, yeah, Kuki, you. Shinobu, something like that? I don't know. <laughs> um, horrible pronouncing names. Yeah, it's Ryuji from Persona 5. Ryuji! Uh, oh, I love Persona 5. You too. So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? Wait, don't tell me. Hmm. You're on vacation. Yes. <laughs> this is where I would go on vacation. Exactly the place. Like, nowhere else. I, I wouldn't go to any other island, stuff like that. The chasm is definitely where I want to go. <laughs> and the one and only Ito. Oh my god, the, the puns, man. I say, you two are looking pretty good. Things been going your way lately? Cause I have been doing amazing. <laughs> I love how he broke out of jail. Uh, Ito? Who's that behind you? Hey there, I'm with the Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu. Nice to meet you. Alright, that's how I pronounce the name. Kuki. I saw, I was kind of right. Yeah, but I'm really bad at pronouncing names. I never heard Kuki Shinobu's voice before, so it's nice to finally be able to listen to it. Oh, <laughs> alright. I almost forgot she was back there. Let me introduce you to Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. Oh, another member of Ito's gang! Let me tell you, she's one of Hanamizaka's best and brightest, so of course she's in the gang. Shinobu takes care of practically everything in the Arataki gang. She can protect you guys too, you know? A friend of the boss is a friend of mine. You must be the traveler in Paimon. Yep, yep! Nice to meet you too, Shinobu! Nice to meet you, Shinobu. The pleasure's mine. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. So, uh, Ito, if she's the one that takes care of everything in the gang, then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? Oof. <laughs> oh, Paimon, you have to say that. Like, you're not wrong, but you have to say that. <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss. To the four corners of Tavat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang, a me. <laughs> Okay, Paimon gets the dynamic now. A useless boss with an ultra-capable subordinate. Hey, you... Uh, uh, you know what? Forget it. The average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the Arataki gang. As the leader, I can't let myself stoop down to your level. <clears throat> anyway, have you seen a pink-haired legal uh, mage lady? Wears a goofy hat, knows everything, kind of short. Nope, I've never, never seen her before in my life. Uh-oh. Her name's Yenfei. She's a legal advisor from Liyue. I thought perhaps you two would know her. Oh, no. We haven't seen her. We don't know this person at all. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, Paimon is a bad liar. I see. Seriously, Paimon, or you let us slip up the moment you said, oh, uh, let's do it. Seriously, Paimon. Why not? Ah, so you have seen her. Uh, no. What gave you that idea? Hey, technically speaking, Aww, she didn't really say anything. Getting all antsy. <laughs> Seems I was able to get to the truth after all. When someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I assure you we don't have any ill intentions. So, uh, you guys know Yambe? Well, she, uh, kind of saved my life, so... Yeah, you could say we've met. Oh, maybe she's the person who broke him out of jail. Like, I remember after his story quest, he kind of got sent to jail, so maybe she... Kind of broke him out, I guess. She saved your life. Wait, hold on. What are you two doing in the chasm anyway? Sorry, Pama can be a bit slow. Oh my god, Vin. You know that the Sakoku decree has been lifted recently in Inazuma, right? Well, Shinobu wanted to come to Liyue and pick up her graduation certificate. I came along because it's safer to travel in numbers. Graduation certificate? Did you study in Liyue? Yes. I studied law at the Tongwen Academy in Liyue. Unfortunately, the Sakoku decree was implemented just when I was home visiting my family before graduation. So I'm a few years late getting my graduation certificate. Hey, at least she graduated, right? We were taking care of some errands in Liyue, and the boss got tangled up with some millilith while we were standing in a line. He was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenfei happened to be walking past and helped us out. Yep, if it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me in the slammer. <laughs> So, you know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. But, she said she didn't need my help with anything. I thought there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. Yeah, just in case she needs me to come leaping to her rescue. <laughs> so you're forcing her to accept your help, or do Onis usually repay acts of kindness like this? Let's do this one. Listen, Granny said that a man must learn to be grateful, and... 
I'm gonna help this legal advisor lady no matter what it takes. Oh my god, look at Shinobu, man. She's like I am like <laughs> it's really like, you know, a mother scolding the son. <laughs> uh, that's nice and all, but what if she really doesn't need your help? <laughs> You're joking, right? I mean that's not possible. Of course she needs my help. <clears throat> Traveler. Is Shinobu trying to hint at something? That way. Maybe she's hinting for me to distract Ido. What 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 is over there? Uh, Yanfei went that way. Oh, okay. Oh, are we leading him to like the the castle? Are we are we somewhere else? I'm not sure. Fear not, my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue. Appreciate the help. Until next time. Goodbye. Uh, traveler, did you just send Ito the wrong way on purpose? Huh? Shinobu seemed pretty sharp. Paimon doesn't think you can pull one on her like that. Or maybe she knows that Ito can be a big nuisance, so she's trying to stop him from bothering Yanfei. Oh, if that's the case, then wow, she really knows how to call the shots. Well, at least this way nobody will be bothering Yanfei. If we run into her again later, we should let her know that we helped her out. Hmm. All right, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. Alright, so we finally started the story quest and we're like 18 minutes into this recording. Oh my goodness, man. I mean, not only that, but I kind of missed some of the dialogue from the beginning of the story quest. Like when you first log in, Paimon says some like stuff. I don't remember what she said, but yeah, like before this, once I got to the chasm, she said something about, I don't know, someone being here. I don't remember. This place is really cool. I love the chasm a lot. It's too bad there's nothing really much to do here. Good. Thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seemed super outgoing. Normally, I don't mind making friends, but I've got work to do today. Huh? So what kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Aw, oh, don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer, too. Well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. A... Uh, a will? That's right. I found a will inside an old book. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. Well, I'll just be like a new gadget for us. Paimon didn't know legal advisors have to deal with that kind of thing. Huh, what a job. Will execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. I feel like we kind of can. <laughs> like, we can come here anytime we want. Oh. So you do know what kind of place this is. Alright, that's Yelan. It's crazy how, like, the voice actor for Yelan, her range is really vast. If you guys didn't know, the voice actor for Yelan, I believe, is Laura Post. And she voiced Kasumi from Persona 5. And Kasumi's voice from Yelan's voice is, like, polar opposite. Kasumi is, like, very shy and kind of, like, introverted. Not necessarily introverted, but, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, she's basically very reserved. Whereas Yelan's like very confident and has a, like a deeper voice. So it's very cool to see the the contrast between the voice acting. And not only that, but Yelan kind of reminds me a lot of Sai from Persona 5. With the whole like gambling thing, like dice, whatever. So yeah, like when I saw Yelan's trailer and stuff like that, that's what she reminded me of, of Sai. I felt like they used Sai's voice acting for Yelan that would fit as well. But Laura Post definitely killed this. I don't really mind it being her, but yeah. Ah, I thought I might find you here. But her skills are really cool. Like, I really like her like running skill. It makes traveling so much faster. Hey, where are the arrows? Like, it's supposed to be some arrows when she drops Whatever down there. Whatever you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. I'm curious if Yelan's sprint or elemental skill is faster than the little baby Sayu, her rolling skill. I wonder which one is faster. If I do pull for Yelan, I'll definitely test that out. That way I can find some way to make my traveling around like faster, so yeah. That's funny. I thought we'd established that my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelan's around. Uh, who is she? This is Yelan. Liu is, uh... Well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can at least say that much, right? Anyway, she's a friend of mine. I bet you Yelan like the Anbu Black Ops from like Naruto. Kind of like secret agents. Basically like the CIA or like the FBI. The higher ups, like not just like the police, but like something even more than that. I feel like that's what she is. Sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. Seems chance has brought us all together. 
Oh my god. Even before, this is like the female Lux Sword or Luke Sword from, you know, Kingdom Hearts. If you guys play Kingdom Hearts, you guys know that Luke Sword is like all about gambling. Yeah, maybe it's like the female Luke Sword. You may not know me, Traveler in Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. Oh really? I guess I do have many friends in Liyue. You're all here on business, and it's my job to monitor the chasm. According to regulations, I should accompany you. But, as it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. Don't worry about that. We have a character story quest for that. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I just told her, like, Oh yeah, don't worry about that. I know you're going to join us in the future because of a character story quest. Like, it's kind of like breaking the fourth wall. Oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? I thought that Yanfei is like a million years old. <laughs> You've probably seen Yelan grow up. Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose even a guy needs to get paid. It just so happens that Madame Ping gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Ito? What is he doing back here? I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> and I thought we were buds. Oof. <laughs> but they're also my friends, so... That's close enough. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, this area is part of the chasm. It's closed to the general public. I love how there's like some kind of little barrier. Like, it's not really a barrier, but it looks like it between them. Are you kidding me? I, I, I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? Kid, where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. It's funny that I'm pretty sure Ido is probably older than Yelan, and she called him a kid. Uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important. It really is an unusual place. It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past. And Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust their intentions. As for you two... <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're trying to say that I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? Ha! How would you know what Yenfei needs? What, are you two joined at the hip or something? Oh my god, it reminds me of that Spongebob episode where Spongebob says to Squidward that they're like brothers but only closer. Kind of reminds me of that scene. Right. Anyway, I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. In any case, as a visitor from Inazuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. <coughs> Why you? Please, try not to be so impulsive. She is right, you know. Uh-oh. Things are starting to get a little heated here. Oh, not good. He really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place. So we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, seriously, you should put up a sign. Don't they have a sign outside the chasm? Am I tripping? I could have sworn that there's got to be some kind of sign outside the chasm, right? Well, there is technically police outside. How do they get past the police? <laughs> like, that makes no sense. What the heck? I have no idea, but... Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, consider it. Oh, yeah? And what if we don't leave? Hmm? Boss. Then, I'm afraid things might get... unpleasant. Is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? <laughs> Gotta admit, I like your optimism. Oh, I'd love to see a fight scene between these two. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Although you're friends with the Traveler and Yenfei, I'd still suggest you heed my warning. <laughs> Thanks for that, but uh, too bad I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? Oh my goodness, man. Alright, give me some kind of awesome cutscene. Please, come on. Hold on, boss. There's oh my no god, it looks like going Super Saiyan. Here. No, I'm going in whether she likes it or not. Yeah, you're literally going super sad. What the heck? <laughs> you think I was joking around, huh? Oh my god, she's also going like that super sad, but like she's going ultra. Yeah, ultra instinct has that blue aura, so oh my goodness, ultra instinct versus super sad. Like you can definitely tell who wins. Oh no, these two are about to go at it. 
Let him go at it. I want to see an awesome cutscene. Please wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you just save me the embarrassment and just? Huh? Huh? The ground is shaking. Oh, well, it makes sense that they're shaking because they're going Super Saiyan and Ultra Instinct. <laughs> Look at this. This is so cool. I would love for that to be like one of those effects you can have for your characters. Like you guys know how you get, we can have like pets and stuff like that. Wouldn't that be kind of cool if we can like do some special effects for our characters like that? I'd be able to toggle it on or off. Like I think we kind of cool, dude. Hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, uh huh. How much deeper can this chasm go? I feel like we're all the way in the bottom. I'm fine. Uh, ow. <laughs> Putting my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. Why would she carry these books? Like, she had no bag with her. Does she? <sighs> Where is she holding these books? Where are we? Uh, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Uh, hey, Shinobu, traveler, and my savior. Is everyone okay? <sighs> Well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. Hey, so, uh, how far down did we fall? This reminds me of, if you watched the movie, The Journey to the Center of the Earth, the 2008 one with, what's his name? With that one dude who appears in Hunger Games. It kind of reminds me of that one, though. This guy, like, fell from a mine. It ended up in the center of the Earth. Hmm. Great movie, by the way. I highly suggest you guys watch that movie. You guys like adventure movies, but I, I enjoyed it. It seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Nah, because you guys want Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct, that's why. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <sighs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? It's my duty to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Oh, I, I love this interaction, man. Hey! Life's too short to give in all the time. Boss, I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. Hey, whose side are you on here? I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. I think with her voice sounds a lot like Futawa's from Persona 5. I wonder if her voice actor is Erica Linebeck. Probably not, but it sounds very similar. Against either Yeon or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot now. So Ido and Shinobu are kind of like you and me. Uh, hey! What do you mean? Don't you dare compare Paimon to Ido! Whoa, whoa! What do you mean? Are you looking for a fight too? Yes. <laughs> I want to see Paimon fight Ido. That'd be kind of cool, man. I guarantee you Paimon's like some special god who could probably destroy everyone. I can relate to Ido because I'm also an idiot. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. You calling me an idiot? Oh, yeah? Well, you're a, a puny little flying lavender melon, ha! Oh, he, he sure got her. Oh, my goodness, man. Lavender melon? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad! Time to give you an ugly nickname! I uh, Bull Chucker! Hmm. You better mind your manners, Bull Chucker! You know, when Paimon gets mad, she sounds a lot like Majin Buu. It's very similar. We seem to be a long way down from where we fell. It's impossible to see what's going on up above. <sighs> it's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need to know. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in Liyue. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not gonna ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. I won't treat you as hostiles, and in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to find a way out. Huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Like she said, to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelan is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. I'm sorry. 
I came to the chasm in search of the fantastic compass, which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Yelan's words of caution were not unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. Given that we're all caught in this mess, let's try to find a way out together. Whatever you say, my savior, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team, all of us. And as for that big jerk, well, <clears throat> I guess that includes her too. You said Yelan works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Byman can tell she's tougher than most, but wow, her job sounds demanding. Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? I agree. <laughs> oh, Paimon knows! An adventurer! Hey, what's with the face? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it? I'm the adventurer, Paimon, not you. Well, I'll be technically speaking, Paimon also an adventurer because she follows us throughout the adventure, so... Yeah, but... You're so stingy these days! Oh, just let Paimon be an adventurer by association, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I think it'll be a story quest in the future where the Traveler and Paimon, they have a big fight and they kind of separate for like a little bit. That's what all this is like kind of leading up to. Like the Traveler is getting a little more sassy and sassy every single time. So I think one day something's gonna happen and they're gonna sort of separate and break off a little bit. Kind of like in Persona 5. Kind of a little bit of spoiler if you have the one Persona 5 spoilers. But Morgana and you know the team kind of like separate for a little bit for like a short amount of time. So I kind of think the same thing will happen in the future with Paimon. Whether it's like a vent or a story quest. Yeah, she's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. You know, let your sidekick share some of the glory. <laughs> oh man, I guess technically speaking, Paimon is our boss, right? Because she kind of like says everything and does a, not everything, but she like basically negotiates for us. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. Ugh. For the sake of Shinobu, fine. <laughs> I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. Hmm. Perhaps this was another sealed location, but an undocumented one. What could be in here? I love how we're all just chilling and Yelan's like doing her work. I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Where is she keeping the food and water? She doesn't have a bag or anything. Great. That makes no sense. You know the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey, I am too a sharp tool. Oh, my God. When I heard the tool, I kind of thought of the Smash Mouth song. Like, you know, kind of reminds me of Shrek, I'm not going to lie. Except Shrek is a little bit smarter, I guess. There seems to be an entrance up ahead with a path inside. Wonder where it leads to. Well, let's go take a look. I kind of wish I got to play as Yelan, because I want to use the elemental skill to run. Who would have guessed we'd find a domain entrance in a place like this? If there's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be old Leela mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. <laughs> What's that sound? <sighs> I love how Shao kind of just appears anytime he wants. Demons. What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard a noise, so I followed it here. So you're not here by accident. Hmm. Want to team up? No, I have something else to do. Is it something important? I'm looking for someone. God? He shouldn't be here. <laughs> Imagine that Shao looking for God. Go back as soon as possible. I oh, just like disappeared. I don't get why we can't get these like type of abilities where we can just teleport around. Oh, okay, well technically speaking we can teleport around, but you guys know what I mean. Like, 
like for elemental skill wise. Huh. That guy looked pretty tough. Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems like a solid dude. Seriously, bull checker? Where do you get your confidence from? Should we really be letting him go off on his own? I don't worry, he's basically like a god. Oh, he wouldn't listen no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He is super tough though, so don't worry about him. Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead, so we have to be ready for anything. Oh, look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole follow the leader act? I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Boss! Ugh, okay, okay. Besides, Yela is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bullchucker, you're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. Ha! Please, you're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon. So stop trying to sound like one. Alright, I can tell in the story quest, he was probably gonna you know, leave us and go his own way, and then we would go another way. Yeah, it's, it's what it's leading up to. In my opinion, but I just love how I can just like go right through the portal and not get sucked in. <laughs> I'm literally inside the portal, man. All right, let's see. Uh, domain. Uh, I need hydro. Oh, actually, I think it probably let us use Yaline in this quest, so or this domain. So I'm gonna go in with this team. All right, never mind. I've been lied to. <laughs> I thought we were about to use Yaline, but I guess not. Oh, wait, so I thought I was like tripping for a second. What in the world's going on? All right, what are we supposed to do? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. We definitely do need. Oh, actually, not really. But having a you know, water character will help. I would have brought in Kokomi. But yeah, I'm an idiot and I thought the letters use Yelan. Are we going the right way? Where are we supposed to go? Oh, over here. Wait, is this the hole? Oh, never mind. <laughs> it just didn't appear yet. Oh my god, I have no artifact space. Two very boring minutes later. This place kind of reminds me of the final world from Kingdom Hearts. Where like things are, like twisting around, stuff like that. Please tell me it's the right way. I feel like we just went here before. Yeah, I think went the wrong way. Or maybe I should like rotate it again. I, I think I should rotate it again. Let's give it a shot. Alright, never mind. Let's rotate it again. I right, tried this one. All right, I think this is the same area. Oh my goodness! I think we're gonna go under there. There we go. I would hope the story quest didn't take forever. I know that usually story quests take at least two hours. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to break this up into like two videos or not because I don't want to do a two-hour-long video. So. I might like break it up like midway through. That way it won't be so long. Yeah, okay. I definitely needed a water character. Like it would definitely help me a lot more. Right, there we go. Finish the main. I feel like I missed a chest probably. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Let's go. Huh? Wait. This ain't right. Go back where we started. How did we end up back here? So we've been here already. Yes, this is exactly where we started. I knew it. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We were headed in the same direction the entire time. We never turned around. Yes, that's what I thought too. Traveler, we were going the right way, weren't we? Yes, I thought we were headed in the right direction. How strange. There's a legend in Inazuma about a merchant who was tricked by a Bake Danuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night. Even by dawn, they still hadn't found a way out. Yeah. I once heard that one before too. Yeah, it literally feels like deja vu. Like how we basically experienced that exact same thing in one of the domains. So we're all familiar with the story then? Good. Because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. I love the little Endora is like blocking Ido's face. But fear not. I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. Let me summon him real quick. Oh, I think that he can bring out his little turtle thing. I think there's like leak that the turtle had like voice lines, so yeah, I think it'll start talking. For the boss, ignorance is a virtue. I love how he has to like do a stance before he does anything. This is Ushi, an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang. <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a keen sense of direction, so I'll let him lead the way. Oh, he reminds you of that turtle from Dragon Ball, like Master Roshi's turtle friend from his island. <laughs> I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. This does not have the trappings of something that's gonna work. <laughs> You're telling me. All right, go, Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. <laughs> Man, like, Ushi reminds me of, like, a Pokemon. Huh? 
what's that? Oh, really? Oh, no way. What's wrong? Yoshi says he's searched everywhere, but there's no exit. That doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. But now, it seems even that exit has disappeared. Inexplicable, if you ask me. It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Hmm. I'm gonna take another look around. How is Yilan's jacket staying on her? Like, it's literally on her shoulders. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rocks. Uh, but maybe we've just misremembered. Maybe this isn't the place we started from. What? You scared now? No. Paimon's super brave. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, uh, Ushi also thinks you're scared. It's okay. Don't be scared to admit you're, uh... <laughs> Scared? You've got us here to protect you. I'm here for you too, Paimon. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. Shinobu, you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the traveler and Paimon with me. Got it. Be careful, everyone. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior. Just Yenfei is fine. Mr. Arataki, it seems that as the head of the Arataki gang, you possess a strong sense of leadership ah too kind too kind and just call me ito since we're a team now we should have each other's backs uh, paimon if you feel scared again i can cover your eyes for you all right oh wow well, this, that's it uh, i thought we were actually gonna do some exploring but i guess not but yeah usually when it comes to these type of movies you don't want to split up like it's never really that great to split up I mean, we just gotta make our way out. We gotta like blow a hole into like the wall or something. I can't shake the feeling that there's something off about this place. Boss, did you guys find anything over there? No, nothing. Not only that, I could have. <laughs> I love how she said boss. Like, and then we responded not to that. It should be Ido who was supposed to respond to that, but for some reason we did. Probably not the right time to ask this, but Paimon just can't help it. Ito, you're an oni. Doesn't that kind of mean everywhere you go is haunted? No, ignore the red horns, okay? I, I'm talking about spooky, floaty ghosts. Now you see them, now you don't kind of haunted. Uh, Hito, are you afraid of ghosts? Oh no, boss, you've been found out. It's kind of funny. <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> no way! What, are you kidding? <sighs> Stop choking around. <laughs> Anymore. Hey, Bull Chucker, if you're scared, Hyman can cover your eyes for you. Uh, maybe I should make better use of my time. Hmm, Shinobu walked off to grab a few stones, and she took out some twigs and lavender melons from her pocket. What? Oh, she makes something to eat. Add a little salt. Hey, food. Are you roasting lavender melon? Who would put salt and pepper on lavender melons? Don't you think the lavender melons would be like sweet or something? Yeah. Roasted lavender melon is delicious. You can try some when it's done. Hey, let's get it. Okay. All right. Oh, hopefully there she gives us like some kind of recipe. And savory. Which would you prefer? I'm happy with either. All right, you can try them both then. It's important that we remain calm, especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry. I'll distract the boss while you discuss things with the others. All right, I got it. Oh, I love the little I dancing cow in the background. Cooking. Would you like some Yenfei? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? The last time I saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Liyue. Substitute teacher? Ah, yes, now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? There's no season in Genshin Impact. <laughs> yes, I remember everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Now that I think about it, I should call you Senpai. Oh my god. For a second, Shinobu reminded me of Kasumi from Persona 5. And I was like, oh, they had the same voice actor. But I was like, no, Yelan, the Kasumi's voice actor. Ooh, 
I like the sound of that. <laughs> I love how they kind of like translated and said senpai when I guess like in English or American terms, you would call them like teacher or mentor or something like that. <sighs> or professor. Who would have ever guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together? It must be fate. So Yanfei gives lectures too? That's incredible. I hated that. lectures. She's funny and engaging while she speaks. Needless to say, she's very popular among the students. But yeah, lectures in college, like, oh my god, man. Uh, I always, like, fell asleep during those times. Like, you guys shouldn't fall asleep during lectures because they're very important, but I literally could not stay awake. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even imagine, like, law lectures. That would be so boring. <sighs> I see everyone is still here. Yelon. We split into groups and searched the area, but there are no signs of any way out. How about you? Did you manage to find anything? No. And though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare ourselves. We're gonna be here forever. <laughs> if we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. Can you imagine this is the end of Geshin Impact? Like, we never find a way out and we just die here. <laughs> I think you might be right. I understand. Hmm. An underground space with an entrance but no exit. It just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. If anyone happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Come think of it, Shao's here too. He said we can always call his name if we get into trouble. Maybe it's worth a try. Shao is like literally, if you guys watch Shazam, that superhero movie, like when we call Shazam, he like transform into, I guess, Shazam. <laughs> so it's Shao is basically like that, like we just say his name and he just pops up. Hey, Traveler, what's with the serious face? Do you have a plan? I was just thinking that Shao is also here, remember? Shao, all right. Do you want to get in to help us? I think it's worth a try. Sure. I love Endor just sleeping in the background, man. Dot, dot, dot. Shazam! <laughs> Shao, can you hear me? Huh. Dot dot dot. Uh, Shao? Huh. No response. Paimon thought Shao would come no matter where we are. He's a fraud. He's a liar. Oh no, does that mean even Shao can't sense our presence here? Dot dot dot. <laughs> Wonder what that could mean. What's the deal with this place? I like how the traveler, like they're kind of showing the travelers like inner thoughts and stuff. I kind of like that. All right, let's see. Talk to Ido first. I love having a fire talking to him. And this time, I, Arataki, uh, the one and only, will. Uh... Boss. Whoa, whoa! What's up, sourpuss? Time for some roasted lavender melon. Hey, let's get it. Huh? We're trapped in a life and death situation underground, and you're telling me it's time for roasted lavender melon? <laughs> Interesting. You hear that? Ushi says you're completely right. Wait, hold on. Whose side are you on, Beefcake? It's important to stay replenished. We must keep our energy and morale up in preparation for facing the unknown. Even Ushi knows that. Fine. You two are... Hey, are you already eating? Well, hold on. Is it still warm? Oh, oh that does smell good. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just... We'll have a quick snack and then we'll... Uh, and then we'll keep looking for a way out. Hey, don't eat them all. Leave a couple for me. There's six of them. So how many people are here? One, two, three, four, counting me, Danfei, and then Yelan. So let's, and we also have Paimon, so that's seven. So we don't have enough for everybody. Not only that, but we also got Endora right here, so we need eight. So we're missing two lavender melons. Alright, let's talk to Yanfei. Oh, whoops, how did we do that? Hmm. Who could have ever guessed we'd get trapped in a place like this? It's quite the predicament. For all the studying I've done in my life, all I know is how to land people in prison. I don't know the first thing about breaking out of one. I've even made a contract with my father to live a happy life. I can't give up hope now. Try and stay positive. At least I've explored a new place and seen more of the world while reuniting with some old friends. <laughs> yeah, there's still a silver lining, I guess. Alright, so where are the world of Yelan? Oh, she's over here. I love she's by herself. She's like, she's literally just standing in a pool of water. Why would you not stand out here? Like, why would you want your boots to be wet? Like, I hate wet shoes, man. Our situation is grim. There doesn't appear to be a way out for now. We should be prepared to stay for a while. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies, and even our motley crew has people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. I got you. 
Alright. Oh, what the heck? You guys see Yelan just like levitate for a second? Our interact with the mysterious wooden board and place of uh, okay, yeah. What is that? Is that the event? Is this an event? Am I doing an event? Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Yeah, this is an event. Alright, so this Ooh, I like that little artwork. This is so cool, man. Alright, so that's an event. Let's see, lurking peril. What is this? this more story quest? Yeah, okay, so this is a story quest. Oh my goodness, are you serious? I didn't know this is <laughs> a story. Wait a minute. Can I unlock this? Alright, so apparently, what I've been doing was a story quest, from, or like the event story quest the entire time. I thought it was like a story quest, or like main story quest, but it's not. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? The next part of the story quest had not been unlocked yet. It's literally, the next part literally unlocks tomorrow, and then the last part unlocks the next day after that. So I'm like, oh my god, are you serious? Oh man, I just got gypped, dude. <laughs> I thought that this was like a main story quest. We're gonna finish it, and then we can do Yelan's character story quest, but unfortunately I can't, so yeah, I guess I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I should have waited until all the story quests were unlocked before I did this, but at the same time, I guess it's okay, because this video is like an hour long. I don't really want to upload a like two hour long video. They're planning on ending it anyway after this, but yeah, that kind of stinks. I kind of wish I could play Yelan's story quest, that way I can see what she's like before I pull for her. Yeah, it looks like I won't be able to do the story quest anytime soon, but I think from what I've played so far, I think I might pull for Yelan. That and also, I think she's actually really good, so I'm like, you know what, I think she kind of won me over with the one hour story quest we've done so far. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pull for her right after this video. So yeah, I basically have enough to mercy her. Hopefully I can get her in the 50-50, that way I can save some primo gems, but knowing me, like, I never win 50-50s. I've only won 50-50 twice. I don't like the 8 summoning videos I did in this game, so... Yeah, not looking so good for me. <laughs> but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have some more videos like this where I play the story quest and kind of like react to it. Kind of like a blind let's play. Definitely let me know. Like, I really enjoy doing this. So if you guys want to see more of it, like, definitely leave a comment down below or hit the like button. Basically, let me know that you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, this is before. If you guys want to see more of this, I'll definitely do more of it. But if not, then I might not do this ever again. So yeah, this video, the second half of those event story quests, as well as Yelan's character quest. Those are going to be like test videos to see if you guys want to see more of it. But if you guys want to get impact videos in general like this or or you guys want summoning videos or discussion videos, definitely hit the like and subscribe button as well because I plan on doing more of it in the future. And if you guys are interested, I will get Genshin Impact videos every single Saturday, so that's definitely time to check out my channel if you guys are interested. But for those of you guys who are polling for Yelan, hopefully you guys all poll her in the 50-50 or not even 50-50s, like hopefully you guys poll her before the 50-50. But as for me, I plan on doing a summoning video after this, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I have no like expectations whatsoever, so yeah, like I'm probably gonna shaft it like usual, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I should be uploading the summoning video before this video. So you guys don't know if I pulled Jaylon or not before I even upload this video. Like, I have no idea right now. I basically am guaranteed to get her, so I know I will get her. It's just that I'm not sure how many polls it's going to take. But anyway, enough rambling. That's kind of my this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed like this before. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these type of blind let's play reaction story quest videos for Genshin Impact. Like how I've been doing with Final Fantasy XIV. But yeah, anyways, kind of my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.